Darktable has just launched its version 5.0, and it's packed with exciting new features, improvements, and enhanced camera support for all you photography enthusiasts. This major update brings several notable UI UX enhancements designed to improve user experience significantly. First off, Darktable 5.0 introduces camera-specific styles for over 500 models, providing JPEG renditions that closely match the out-of-camera look. The update also includes an optional splash screen that displays startup progress, a high-contrast theme with bright white text on a dark gray background, and more helpful hints for new users on an empty lightable. Additionally, there's now a global preference to swap the left and right side panels in the darkroom view. One of the most notable features is the ability to drag and drop utility module headers to reposition them across the panels in the lightable and all views vertically. The new version also improves the drag and drop of processing modules in the darkroom's right panel. Users can now choose which utility modules to display on the panels in different views. New user hints are more abundant, and there are two new error placeholder images to distinguish between missing, unsupported, and corrupted images. Enhanced tooltips for utility module headers and feedback while processing bulk image operations are also included. You'll also find thumbnail previews of the effects of appending a style to the active images edit and a new icon for the operator button in the color label filter. Beyond the user interface improvements, Darktable 5.0 adds functionality such as using exposure bias to form collections and as a display filter. Improve visualization of the color equalizers effect and new support for undo and redo actions on the film strip and darkroom. The update also enhances debugging support for verifying CPU versus GPU results and boosts AVF encoding speed without compromising quality. Darktable 5.0 also introduces significant improvements in image operations, Pawigo export storage with customizable file name patterns, and support for importing JPEG 2000 files. The release adds read support for JPEG, 2000 encoded images in HEIF containers and HEIF files with AVC compression, along with new YEXIF tags for color calibration and highlights reconstruction. In addition, it supports editing any live color picker samples, adds more substitution variables for EXIF data fields, and includes a visible indicator in the color calibration module when its color mapping section has non-neutral settings. The update also increases the maximum focal length for filtering auto-applied presets to 2000 mm. Darktable 5.0 enhances camera support, adding compatibility for models like Fujifilm X, M5, Leica Q343, Nikon Z63, and more. New white balance presets for specific Nikon and Sony models, as well as new noise profiles for Canon PowerShot G1X and Leica M11, have also been added. This update also features an OpenCL implementation of a color equalizer and significantly improves the loading of PFM files. Check out the release notes on GitHub for full details and download Darktable 5.0 from the official website or as a Flatpak app from Flathub.